What's up, Kyle Gannon? All right, we're back with another dynamics problem, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're given a boat traversing a circular path with a given velocity, and our goal is to find the acceleration at a certain time. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we have a boat traveling in a circular path, uh, there's a whole lot of coordinate systems we can use, but the most useful one is going to be the normal tangent uh, coordinate system, right? So we have our normal uh, curve and then our tangent curve, and then these are at a right angle to each other. So we can make our uh, coordinate system out of those. And when you're using um, this normal tangent coordinate curve, we're going to have two things, right? Acceleration is equal to b dot, but that's in the tangent direction, right? Tangential acceleration is equal to b dot. But then there's also acceleration normal, which is the force pulling you inward. And that's equal to velocity squared over the radius of curvature. So we have these two equations, and if we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration, we have to take the square root of both of them, right? So it's going to be at squared plus an squared. So these are the three equations we're going to use to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and figure them out, starting with a tangent. So tangential acceleration is equal to b dot, so we're just going to take the time derivative of velocity. So that 2 is going to come down, it's going to be 2 times 0 0.0625 t. So then if we want to find the tangential acceleration at 10 seconds, per se, we're just going to plug in 10 for t, and for that, we're going to get 1.25 meters a second squared. So there's part one. Let's find normal acceleration. So acceleration normal, we're just going to use that equation. So velocity squared, well, we need to find the velocity at that time. So to find the velocity, all right, so let's find velocity at 10 seconds. It's just going to be 0.0625 10 squared. 10 squared obviously is 100, so that's going to break it out. So it's going to be 6.25, then we have to square it again, over the radius of curvature. So if we look at our diagram here, we know that the radius of this circle that's traversing is 40 meters, so we don't have to do any math to find out what the radius of curvature is, we just know it's going to be 40. So there we go. So let's go ahead and solve this. So I'm just going to plug that into your calculator. You're going to find that uh, this is also at 10, so we can say acceleration normal at 10 is equal to 0 0.9766 meters per second squared. So we have tangential acceleration, normal acceleration. To find the magnitude of that, we're just going to take the square root of both of them. That's going to be 1.25 squared plus 0 0.9766 squared. All right, so we do that. You get that the magnitude of the acceleration is 1.59 meters per second squared. And that's your final answer. See a pretty fun problem, right? It's just about using these equations. And if you want some harder problems, uh, come check out my channel. I'm going to have some harder ones bouncing off this same uh, unit here. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.